Yes, people. Welcome to Albert JTV for a new feature on the channel, Player Focus. Today's focus is James Justin of Leicester City, right back, stroke left back, Mr. Versatile. But before we get into it, people, let's hit that intro. Footballing community, you should know what to do by now. Like, share and subscribe. Welcome back to Alba J TV. A social media platform. Know what you're talking about. And what I mean by that is... Goals, ESR and Saka have done well. They've done okay, they've done well. Yes, people, as I said before, welcome back to Albert JTV for a new feature on the channel, Player Focus. This isn't necessarily going to be about um, transfer rumour as such, um, because I'll leave the newspaper outlets to worry about that and the frenzy of social media. But people, as I always say, obliterate the like button, like, share and subscribe. But yeah, this is sort of my take really on players that I think um, have had fantastic impact in the Premier League, who I would probably personally like to see at Arsenal Football Club because I don't think they would just give us squad. I don't just don't. I just don't think they would give us squad depth. Um, I think they would give us actual quality as well, particularly in areas of the pitch that we absolutely at Arsenal Football Club need strengthening. So. Um, yeah, my player focus for today, people, is um, this young man coming up on your screen right now. Again, audio listeners, I will put this on my Spotify and Anchor so you can hear my dulcet tones, as I like to say. But let's get this young man on the screen. Yeah, James Justin from Leicester City, predominantly a right back, can play left back, 23 years old. Um, I actually think he, for me, has been exceptional um, for Leicester. Um, as I said, he can play right back or left back. He was originally bought from Luton Town, I believe. He was a Luton Town from 2015 to 2019. He had 90 appearances for uh, Luton Town, scoring six goals. Um, he actually got the move to Leicester, reportedly for... Uh, undisclosed fee but I the rumours I sort of heard was for around £8 million um, he's been very very good I mean looking at sort of his uh, time at Leicester he's had 49 appearances and two goals now people might think for example um, that's not a lot of games but if you think about it and bear in mind as well people he had a massive massive injury uh, he, I believe he had an ACL injury in 2021 i think it was february 2021 if i'm if i've got that correct but before that he was exceptional for leicester um consistent um probably one of the first names in the team sheet and i'm sure if i speak to leicester fans they'd speak very very highly of him but like i said before the acl injury he was exceptional um he'd been out for about a year um he's come back this season um, he only played 13 games last season. Sorry, last season now. I'm getting mixed up with sort of seasons. But last season, he only played 13 games. But I think the fact that he's been called up into the latest England squad, which was announced for the Nations League games, should give you an indication of what an impact not only has he had in the 13 games that he played last season, but also in his time since he's joined Leicester in 2019. Um, for me, he's someone who I think Arsenal should look at. Yes, Arsenal have bought in defensive errors, whether that be from the goalkeeper in Ramsdale, Tomoyasu, Ben White and Gabriel's obviously been here now for a couple of years. But like I said, James Justin can play left back and right back. And listen, people, as you know, I love Kieran Tierney. But I think from my own personal point of view, you're going to have to monitor that situation very, very closely because unfortunately throughout his footballing career, not just at Arsenal, Kieran Tierney, um, injuries have cost him a lot of first team football. Um, he's a very he's a quality player international and domestically, but I'm not sure we can rely on him. Yes, there's rumours of Aaron Hickey 
from Bologna, um, who's I think I think he's 19 years of age. But if you're looking more in terms of the league, I think this guy would be adequate, more than adequate, shall I say. I think the only issue of stumbling block you've got with James Justin is that I believe he signed a contract extension um, in February 2022, which keeps him at Leicester to 2026, because he initially signed on a five-year deal when he's bought from Luton Town. Um, at the time, Aston Villa, were, I believe, were interested in him as well. But listen, like I said, for me, I've been very, very impressed from what I've seen. And to go from playing football for Luton Town, um, not far back as 2019, to three years later being called up for the national team um, for the latest round of games in the Nations League, I think that's an absolutely meteoric rise. Um, looking at his Premier League stats, just kind of based on last season, people, um, errors leading to goals, um, zero, 62 recoveries, um, 17 interceptions, and a tackle success rate of 59%. Um, like I said, he signed a contract extension at Leicester to 2026. So even if Leicester were thinking about selling him, um, he would cost probably a fair decent price because he's excelled since he's come into the Premier League and he's been consistent. And it's no coincidence, like I said, that he's got his call up recently now under Gareth Southgate. So people, Drop in the comments what you think of my player focus um, for episode one, James Justin. Have you been impressed with what you've seen? Um, do you agree with me that he would be a good addition to Arsenal, possibly if Arsenal went down that route? Or what reservations do you have um, in terms of um, James Justin? There's some very good fullbacks domestically and obviously in Europe. I don't know the European market fully, but in terms of the league, um, for me, James Justin is one of the standout fullbacks in the league for me and probably underrated i'd say but people smash the like button like i said drop in the comments down below uh, tell me what you think of the player focus for today in terms of james justin um i guess that is all that's left for me to say is that is albert jtv over and out i will see you soon for another effort for another episode shall i say of player focus take care people <music>